comments and give it a thumbs up. You welcome back to my channel. I'm Favor Napoleon, and on today's episode, we're going to be talking about thinking, 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 thinking. You know, does because of what we are going through in the world right now, some might find this helpful and useful. You know, if you want to be an impactful person in the world today, you have to have and develop a certain type type of thinking. You have to have and develop a certain type of thinking. The way you see things, your perspective about things, you have to develop a certain type of perspective. You have to learn how to think right. You have to learn how to see right. You have to know how to process things right. You know, the difference between a successful man and unsuccessful man is their way of thinking. The, the difference between a rich man and a poor man is their way of thinking. You know, the poor man thinking is a certain way. The unsuccessful man or a successful man think in a successful way. So the difference between them is their thinking gap. The secret of anyone rising, the secret for anyone moving higher, the secret of anyone going to another level is all in your thinking. Take responsibility of your thinking. Take responsibility of your mind. Protect what comes into your mind. Protect what, what you process. In your thinking, take responsibility of it. Don't be comfortable with your present at all. Don't be comfortable with your present. You can always get better. You can always go higher. You can always move. You know, you can always grow. So focus on making your thinking better. It doesn't matter the degree you have. It doesn't matter how many professions you have. It doesn't matter how well do you have if you think small you become small so it's your thinking process that keeps you small your life is what you thought it should be and if you don't like it right now if you don't like how your how your life is right now you change your thoughts you change your thinking processes work on your thinking work on your mind work on your thinking think out of the bus think big maintain your mind expose your mind to the right information change the perception of who you are know your purpose know why you exist it will direct and arrange your thinking you know know why you're living don't have the perception of other people what other people think you have know who you are don't think about oh this is what other people says i'm going to be or this is what other people says I have. No, not other people's perception. Know who you really are. Know what you were made, made of. Know where you are going. Know your purpose. It will arrange your thinking processes and you can always get better. You can always improve on yourself. You can always change your thinking. You can always renew your mind and renew your thinking. You know, the only thing that can limit you in, in life, your, the only limit you have in life is your mind, is your thinking processes. If your if your if if your mind and your thinking tells you no, that is how far you can go. What can keep a man in this life is his will, which is his thinking, his thinking processes. So you have to continuously work on your mind, work on your thinking, work on how far you want to go in life. You know your thinking processes attract the right people or the wrong people to you. So when, when, when you think when you think when you think wrongly, the wrong people come to your life. There are people who are not going nowhere. They want you to go with them. There are people who doesn't have direction. They will they will attract you. Why? Because you are you are thinking in some certain direction. They will attract you to go with them. They will attract you to to work with them because they feel you have the same mind with them. So that's why you must continuously work on yourself. Your attitude it comes from how you think. The way you behave, the way you process things, your actions, everything comes from the way you think. The way you talk is as a result of the way you think. The way you dress, the way I'm dressing right now has to do with the way I think. My mind process, oh, this is the right thing to wear at this time and I'm wearing it. That because of the way I think. So my, think, my thinking controls everything that I do. My thinking controls my attitude. My thinking controls everything. 
So, and it also boils down to you that is watching me right now. The way you talk, the way you think, the way you act, your actions, everything has to do with your thinking. The way I organize are you, everything moves, everything runs down to your thinking. The way your apartment is, it goes down to your thinking. The way you, you, you act, the way you see your perspective about life, it goes down to your thinking. When situation and circumstances comes to you, how you process them, it has to do with your thinking. It has to do with your thinking processing. So your thinking is very important. Your thinking will tell you this is the right thing to wear. Your thinking will tell you, oh, this is the right thing to do. This is the right way to react. So your thinking is very, very important. It doesn't matter how many degrees you have. It doesn't matter how intelligent you are or unintelligent. You think you might be what keeps you small is your mind what keeps you small is your thinking you know when you see two people face the same challenges is their thinking that makes them handle it differently you know you see a man you see two men who are faced with with serious what we call serious and dangerous challenge one is depressed the other is depressed is frustrated why the other one is so fulfilled in life? You know, he's, he's even stre uh, strengthened. He doesn't see his challenges as, as something that is going to cause him to be unhappy or that is going to make him depressed. You know, what, what, what is the difference between these two men? Is their thinking processes. You know, it's the thinking processes of a man that can limit a man, that can put him in a cage in a very, very long time. You know, there are some men, you see they behave like women. What makes them behave like that is their thinking processes is what they think is what comes to their mind so if you want to be a successful person if you want to be an impactful person in the world today if you want to be an impactful person to your world to your environment you have to develop a certain type of thinking the right thinking you have to think positive you have to think um you have to think right you know so you have to think right and you have to keep taking rights and you have to keep working on yourself keep improving in your thinking just like what is going on in the world today now we every, every most people are panicking why others are not why others are not you know see every we have, you have to get to a point where you see every challenge as an opportunity don't if if you see a challenge as uh, if you see a challenge as 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 negative, it becomes a disadvantage to you. But if you see a problem as positive, it becomes an advantage to you. Just like what is going through, what is happening in the world right now. Everybody, most people. Let me not use everybody. Most people are frightened. You know, thinking down, thinking depressed. Why others are seeing, you know, every problem is a business. Every challenge is an opportunity for you to grow. You know, it's our thinking process that is making us to react to the situation the way we react. So just like what is going to happening in the world now. People are seeing what is people are seeing what is happening in the world now as an opportunity to, to make business, as an opportunity to make more money, as an opportunity to make more millions and billions to their accounts. So many businesses have closed up this season because nobody's patronizing them. Why? They have turned into selling gloves, making millions of money from selling gloves, from selling masks, from selling, selling sanitizer, you know? But why others are seeing it as a problem? So the thinking of a man, it goes a long way. It can limit the man. You have to think, is your mind that keeps you small? Is your mind that keeps you small? So you have to think right. You have to think positive. You have to think positive. That's why you must develop your thinking. You must develop your thinking. You must take responsibility of your thinking process. And it all depends on the information you give to yourself. It depends on the information you allow to come to your mind. It depends on the information you allow to come to your head. The the, the information you expose yourself to that's what will make you think in a certain way it doesn't matter the potentials you have if you think wrong you become a victim of your potentials 
So you have to think right. You have to develop yourself to think right. You have to feed yourself with the right information. You have to feed yourself with the right words. Because what will keep you small is your thinking. You are the way you are right now because of the way you think. I am the way I am right now because of the way I think. That's why I have to keep working on myself. I have to keep exposing myself to the right information, to train my mind, to train my thinking, to change my thinking, to correct my thinking. So that's the same way. You have to continually work on your mind, work on yourself. And how do you do this with the information that you get? Our mind, you know, by the time you expose yourself to some kind of information, it begins it begin to refine your mind. That just like there are some dreams you might have, when you share it with someone, the person will just talk to you in a way that the dreams become small. It becomes small. Why? Because of the way the person thinks. And you say, wow, I was thinking this thing was something that is so big, but this person has so simplifies it. Why? Because of the way the person thinks. So you have to train your mind. You have to train your mental processes. Don't begin to think right. Your life can be better if you change your thinking. Your life can be better if you walk on the way you see on your perspective. I've come to the end of this episode. Hope you enjoy today's episode. And if you like this episode, let me know what you think on the comment section. Let me know what you are thinking. Let me know what you think about this episode. Let me know what is your mind in your mind. Let me know about the thinking, 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 you know. <laughs> and if you like this episode, please subscribe, comment share subscribe and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up press the like button promise me you're gonna end stay happy and see you in the next episode so bye